Jasper AI has over 50 templates you can use in the free trial to automatically generate short chunks of AI written content from simple prompts and commands. And in this video, I wanna demo all of the social media templates to show you exactly the kind of content Jasper writes. So the first one is commands, and this is gonna be the most free form template that you can use with Jasper, while all the other ones are gonna be a lot more structured with a more consistent predictable output. So I'll explain that a little more later on, but first I need to set some expectations. So Jasper AI is built on an advanced machine learning language model called GPT-3. And if you've never interacted with an artificial intelligence tool before, you need to understand that there's no rule book or instruction manual or a specific set of commands that work or don't work with Jasper. It takes time to experiment with different inputs in order to learn what kind of output to expect from Jasper. The other thing is you need to just accept that about 20% of what Jasper writes will be written weird or incorrect or not in the right format. And then about 60% will be you know perfectly acceptable or maybe average and then about 20% will honestly blow your mind or really help you unlock new ideas while you're writing. All right, so here's an example of a command you could use. So I gave it a little background about my business, and then I said, write an outline for my blog about building your first website. Click generate AI content. And here we go. What is a website? Why do you need a website? What goes into building a website? How do you go about building your first website? So on and so forth. So we can actually uh, adjust the number of outputs that we generate every time we click this button. I like to keep it low because if you don't like this, you can always just click the button again. But from here, you just copy, you know, you would copy this to the clipboard and then maybe go to Google uh, Docs and paste it in here if you don't have boss mode. So if you have boss mode, you'll probably just use the long form editor. But then from here, you can just copy uh, each of these bullet points and paste it in here and generate uh, new content like that. So now we have a paragraph or sentence about what is a website. And we can copy and paste this into our document. You can also tell it to write a paragraph about a certain topic. So how to grow a YouTube channel. One of the best ways to grow a successful YouTube channel is to use tools that help you make money. By using monetization tools like Google AdSense, you can make money from your videos by displaying ads. You can also use affiliate marketing to earn commissions from products that you recommend in your videos. Kind of like what I'm about to do in this one. <laughs> so what's interesting about this output is Jasper uh, related growth with uh, being profitable. So it's going off of this idea that in order to grow a successful YouTube channel, you need to be able to generate income from it. And so it's telling us about different ways to earn income from your YouTube channel. So I didn't have to specifically say that, Jasper just kind of made that connection on its own. Now we could have meant, you know, grow an audience. So maybe we should write, how to grow a YouTube channel's subscribers. And now it's producing more specific content about growing your subscribers. So commands is a very flexible tool and it is kind of the most unpredictable one because it's so open-ended. But let's check out some of the other more structured templates. So content improver will take an existing piece of content and rewrite it for you. So I just pasted in this little uh, piece of content from one of my blog articles and we'll click generate. So here I'm talking about how websites used to be designed by hand and how um, you know, once WordPress was invented, it got a lot easier. And so here's what we got. Web design has changed drastically over the years. In an earlier era, designers would create websites by hand with HTML. This is how it was done when we first came onto the internet. Thus arose content management systems like WordPress, which make creating your website easy as pie, although not too sweet. <laughs> okay, so it added a little bit of comedy into this, I guess, um, which is interesting because I put informative here. Usually if you put the tone of voice to be something like, you know, funny, witty, um, or, you know, you could even put in like a comedian's name to for the tone of voice and 
it will kind of change the output to match that tone of voice. But this actually isn't all that bad. All right, so let's check out the next one, which is creative story. So you start out with a plot. So I have the starship lands on Mars and its engines cut off. The door slowly opens and you take your first step out onto this new planet. You see something out in the distance. In the tone of voice, I have Captain Kirk. So I have two outputs here. So it's gonna actually generate two stories for us. We landed on Mars and the engines cut off. The door slowly opened and we stepped out onto this new planet. I saw something out in the distance and I started walking towards it. As I got closer, I could see that it was a creature of some sort. It had two legs, a long neck, and a small head. It didn't look very friendly, so I started to back away. Suddenly, it lunged at me with its sharp teeth. So it's literally creating this story based off of just you know a few prompts that we uh, we gave it. Now the second one is interesting. Instead of a creature, it's see it's saying that we saw a large shining city with white towers and spires reaching up to the sky. Its streets are filled with people going about their business, business, and there's excitement in the air. We enter the grand hall and we're met with this beautiful woman who tells us she's the queen of Mars. She invites us to stay. So this is kind of a good example of. Uh, how creative Jasper can be. But keep in mind, this can actually work against you when Jasper is trying to create factual information. A lot of times it can invent things that just simply aren't true, but you know, it reads like it sounds, you know, it sounds good, but it's not actually true. So you need to be really careful when you're trying to create content about factual information. You, you have to you have to review it. You can't just accept what Jasper says and and run with it. You have to fact check it. All right, so let's check out the photo post captions for Instagram. All right, so here's a photo I posted to Instagram of some flowers that I took at a friend's wedding. And so we just describe a flower centerpiece from the outdoor wedding I took pictures of. Tone of voice inspiring. So we're generating two outputs again. Because every moment is a special occasion. Flowers, hashtag flowers, hashtag wedding. Uh, the second one is love is in the air with a little emoji. So it's it's kind of neat that Jasper understands that, you know, you can use hashtags with Instagram and emojis and things like that. I mean, the output isn't anything too spectacular, but it is uh, acceptable. I think I tried this uh, before. Love is in the air, hashtag wedding flowers, uh, flowers to gram. That must be, I guess, I don't know, maybe that's a hashtag that people use. So that's kind of interesting that it actually generates hashtags based on the context. Um, Scattered petals of joyous laughter, celebrating love under the open sky. Hashtag outdoor wedding, hashtag springtime. So I thought those were uh, kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and check out personal bio. Now this one, I, I'm not too sure exactly the kind of um, scenario you might use this for. I think maybe like if you have like a large team and you're building a website and you're just kind of trying to create these little snippet personal bios of, uh, you know, everyone on your team, something like that. Um, but I actually found this one to be not that great. So I just put in a couple of facts or, you know, things about myself. Um, again, the format of how you use these tools is really up to you. This is just kind of an experiment, just kind of putting single words like separated by commas and let's see what it generates. So the tone of voice is casual. Hey there, I'm Matt. I'm a married father of two and I love spending time with my family. I also enjoy running my online businesses, playing guitar, especially blues. So here's another example of it, uh, you know, making up something. I didn't, I didn't say anything about playing blues. It just made that up because it sounds good, I guess. And gaming, especially VR. I'm an Eagle Scout, so I like to stay active. And I also enjoy carpentry as a hobby. So it's interesting that it relates uh, being an Eagle Scout to staying active, you know, so it knows an Eagle Scout means I was a Boy Scout and Boy Scouts typically do physical activities and goes go camping and things like that. So that's kind of interesting that it made that connection. I wouldn't describe carpentry as a hobby so much, um, although I guess 
technically it, it could be. All right, let's try putting in Homer Simpson as the tone of voice and see what that does. Okay, that's random. This this actually sounds better. Uh, not really in the voice of Homer Simpson, but again, it kind of made up this uh, virtual reality hobby has turned into a business venture. That's not really true. My carpentry skills come in handy when I'm working on my next gaming rig. Like really? Like, no, I don't build my computers out of wood. So <laughs> that's that's completely wrong. So again, I don't really find the personal bio one to be all that valuable, but let's go ahead and check out the next one. Pinterest pin title and description. So for this one, I imagine we were creating a title for this pin right here, wood kitchen cabinets. So I described five natural wood kitchen cabinet styles, keywords, natural wood, company name, this I think was the name of the blog, and tone of voice enthusiastic. So let's pull out two outputs. Pin title, five gorgeous natural wood kitchen cabinet styles. If you're looking for a warm and natural look in your kitchen, consider natural wood cabinets. They come in a variety of styles to fit any design aesthetic. Check out these five gorgeous options. This is actually pretty good. We didn't get any variation in the pin title and the pin description down here is pretty similar, um, but I think both of those are pretty decent. All right, and the next one is engaging questions. So let's try day trading on margin. Uh, audience is day traders, tone of voice casual. So this is going to create a, a list of questions that you know you could post on social media to like ask your audience to kind of spark engagement and, and give you different ideas. So let's see here. What's your favorite thing to day trade? Um, that's kind of phrased weird. I don't know if I would say thing, maybe stock, company, something like that. What's the biggest margin trade you've ever done? That's interesting. Have you ever had a day where you lost everything? That could spark some interesting conversations. Do you think day trading is gambling? That's another great question. What's the most money you've ever lost in a day trading venture? Uh, I wouldn't say venture, but that's a good question uh, as well. Uh, favorite strategy, keys to success, do you trade on margin? Uh, what's the biggest mistake new traders make? So for the most part, like I said early on in the video, you know, 20% is kind of garbage or just off the mark. Uh, a lot of it, the majority of it is like average, decent. And then there's a couple that are like really good. All right, next we have Quora answers. So you ask it a question and it gives you an answer. So what are the steps for self-publishing a book? information to include in the answer selling on Amazon. I want it to focus on, you know, using Amazon for self publishing tone of voice casual. We'll do one output generate AI content. Okay. This is kind of fluff, but we have two, three steps here, write your book. This is obviously the hard part, but it's also the most rewarding. This is kind of just kind of fluff here. Format your manuscript according to industry standards, follow specific guidelines, font type margin, chapter headings, Oh, that's interesting. It actually has a reference to a link here. And step three, create a cover. So I don't know, this is kind of average output, uh, not that great. Let's try one more time. Okay, this is more a concise list. So write the book, have the book edited and proofread, format it for publication, publish the book, market and sell your book, repeat steps four and five as needed. This doesn't really make sense because you if you're going to write another book, you kind of have to start back at step one, but this kind of is a better output than the next one. All right. And the last one we're going to look at in this video is TikTok video captions. So I just picked this random video of a cat kneading <laughs> the blanket, watching, you know, a cooking show on how to make bread. So what is your video about a cat watching a cooking show about making dough tone of voice, funny, generate AI content. Someone put their cat in front of a TV and now it's hooked on cooking shows. Eh, I, lo I just love watching cooking shows, especially when they're about dough. Eh, that's kind of crappy. Let's do it one more time. Cats are smarter than we give them credit for. Okay, that's decent. If you're not flour covered and sticky after making dough, are you really even cooking? Eh, 
So pretty average. All right, so that's all of the social media templates in Jasper AI. Now, if you'd like to get a trial and, and play around with this yourself, you can go to onlinebusinesstech.com forward slash Jasper, and you'll get 10,000 bonus credits when you sign up using that link. The link's in the description below. And if you wanna get a more in-depth review of Jasper AI, uh, you can check out this video right here where I really go kind of in the back end of what makes Jasper work and kind of review the technology um, so you really understand what it does. And we go into boss mode and all of the other features as well. And if you wanna check out the other templates, I'm gonna have a playlist with all of the uh, different categories of templates so you can kind of see exactly what type of output they create. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.